Year 6 Maths Multiplication Grids Lesson 1 Here we have got a multiplication grid and we have got missing digits, sorry, missing numbers which we need to work out. Now, basically these numbers in the middle here are made by multiplying together these with these. So, if you look at the first number that we have, we're going to, we've already, well, you always need to start by thinking, right, what have I been given that I can use to work out my first answer? And in this particular one, we have been given nine. Nine multiply this number, this mystery number, is 63. So nine times something is 63. So you need to count in your nines. Well, some people will know it straight away because they'll know their nines very well. If not, you can count them. You can write them out. So let's do that here. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, and there's 63. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the missing number there is 7. 9 times 7 is 63. But now that we've got 7, we can work out this one here because we got 56. So 7 multiplied by something gives 56. Now, some people will know that straight away because of their time to tables knowledge. So we've got 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. 42, 49, and 56. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this number is 8. So now that we have 8 here, we can see this one is 48. 8 times something is 48. So if we write out our 8 times table, so 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6. Now, we never did this one, but we can check it's correct. 6 times 9 is 54. So that's how you work out multiplication grids. Look for the clues you've been given. They unlock the first part, and then you work from that. So that's the example. Now, I've got two of you. I've got this one and I've got this one. So what you're going to do now, you are going to copy up this one yourself. And then you are going to work out the missing numbers. You're going to press pause. And when you've done that, we'll do this together. So hit pause while you copy it out and work it out. And then we'll do it together. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to look at, I've got four here. I've got two. So two multiply this number is four. Well, two times two is four. Two times two is four. So is that two going to help me with anything else? Yeah, I can do this number here. Two times ten. Because this column here is ten. So two times ten is 20. All right. So, next one. I'm going to look at what else have I got. So, here I have got 25 in the middle, right? I've got 25. So, something times something is 25. Well, there can only be one answer, and that's 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So, now that I've got 5, I can do this one as well. 5 times 2 is 10. Now that I've got this one here as well at the bottom... Right, 5 times 2, 2 times 5 is 10, 5 times 2 is 10. OK, 
Okay, next one. What else can we look at? Where else can we find the next one? So this is five. This row here is five. So that means this is going to be five times ten is fifty. Okay, so that one's fifty. Now we're given here one hundred and it's ten. So ten times ten is one hundred. And now this 10 is going to unlock this one. 2 times 10 is 20. 10 times 5 is 50. So what else can we unlock with this? We need to look now and we need to think, right, what answers have we been given here? So we've still got this row here. So... Something times something is 9. Well, there is only two numbers that can times together to give you 9. And that's 3. 3 times 3 is 9. That's the only possibility. Well, now that unlocks quite a few more. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 3 is 15. Uh, and then it unlocks this. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 10 is 30. 10 times 3 is 30. 2 times 3 is 6. So notice how I did that. The two, two of the really key numbers was the 9 and the 25 because they're square numbers. The only way as well you can make 25, 25 is with 5 times 5, right? Um, or 1 times 25. 25 only has three factors. 1, 25 and 5. And it's the same with 9. 9 only has three factors. 1, 9 and 3. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So the first thing we need to do is think, what are we given? We're given here 28 and this is 7. So that's going to be 4. Because 4 times 7 is 28. And the next one now, this is 11 and this is 4. That's going to be 44. 2 times 4, that's going to be 8. The next one, look, 42. And there's 7. Well, 7 times 6 is 42. Right, so now we've got 6 in this column. So here's 6 and 2 on this side. So 2 times 6 is 12. 6 times 11 is 66. I've got another 11 here. 11 times 10. That's 110. 7 times 10 is 70. 2 times 10 is 20. Um, 11 times 9 is 99. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 2 is 18. Now look at this bottom one here. Where I'm drawing my green circle. That's 30. This is 10. So the only possible number at the bottom here can be 3. 3 times 10 is 30. And now we've got the 3. I think we've unlocked everything now. So let's start with the first column. 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 11 is 55, 5 times 3 is 15, 4 times 3 is 12, 9 times 3 is 27, 6 times 3 is 18. And there you go. That is how you do multiplication grids with missing numbers. Thank you so much for taking part in this lesson um, and I will see you in the next one.